Becky. Get upstairs and take the girls their porridge. Sarah, get cleaned up and Amelia, come here. If you were brighter, I might think you mean to undermine me. A moment ago, you were pleased. How could you let Sarah make fools of us? She's upstairs laughing at us right now. She was only helping us. She's a sweet child. And you know what I just found out. Her father's a hero. He's made it to Timbuktu. What? It's in the Times. All the boys are out in the street crying the news. There's talk of forming a Timbuktu corporation to exploit the new trade Captain Crew is expected to establish. <laughs> She'll be richer than ever now. I'll have to deal with her carefully, or some other school will get her and her money. Sister! She's smart. She's pretty. She's kind. She's pleasing. What about that slender neck? Is oh. So ripe for seizing. Lucky. Sarah Crew is lucky. She's a freak of fortune. She's whom the fates prefer. I hate to seem importunate, but why should she be fortunate when I am never lucky? If anything unlucky, I am quite as clever, I dare say, cleverer. But how am I to savor it, with Sarah such a favorite? So what, if she's a born as all, she has no right to scorn us all. She's sharp, she's witty, she's rich, she's I think we're lucky, sister. We have a calling, an income, and our health. <laughs> Amelia, why don't you go? To the exchange, in fact. Find out what it takes to invest in her father's new corporation. If we can make our own fortune off of our connection with her, why shouldn't we? Lucky, worse than that, she's plucky, almost always smiling, we're all a joke to her. She doesn't know the half of it, she can have a laugh of it, but had I had a start in life, by God I might take her to life. Had I... Been lucky. 